I hate how dark the background is, especially since we're wearing black shirts. This, this will disappear into the night. This, uh, truly, what's going on, guys? I'm Jace. Truly looks like shit. Let me try this. Oh, s screw you, man. At least because your bedding is so dark. Okay, next time, no black shirts. What's going on, guys? I'm Jace. I'm Josh. We are doing what, Josh? What if episode six? Okay, this is what if. Do you know what it is? Yes. What, what if, if Killmonger rescued Tony Stark? Yeah, so this is going to be at the beginning um, of Iron Man 1. Now, I don't know if you... Uh, I think Josh already posted a little update, but um, for the uh, for the last episode of uh, What If Zombies, um, we are having technical difficulties with the video file. We will get it posted as soon as we possibly can. So this episode, What If Killmonger Rescues Tony Stark? It says, an American soldier called Killmonger rescues Tony Stark. I didn't get the sense that... What well, is... I guess... He is American. I'm wondering why he rescues Tony Stark. Probably well, you know, because he's, he's, he was there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe just the, the question is, what is the choice that was different? Because all these questions, it's always... You're asking a question where there's a different answer than what was actually happening in the MCU. I think the or, what if... Well, actually... The what if is not just... all of them. What if he was there? And he's like, oh, I saved Tony Stark. I can use this motherfucker as a bargaining chip. Try to do what I want. I want to fuck up Wakanda. And by the thumbnail, he's at the he's in Wakanda with the Dora Meloje in the, the the king's room, I think, like the the throne room. He's wearing that sick Vegeta fit. Did you know that? Um, what's it? I think it was because Michael B. Jordan is huge in anime. He designed kill, he wanted Killmonger's outfit to look like Vegeta's outfit, which is why it's like the the vest over the long sleeve blue, like what Vegeta wears. You know, oh, interestingly enough, this is um, I heard this. I heard that the group that actually attacked is the Ten Rings. Yeah. Wait, you already knew that? Yeah, they, it's the terrorist organization, the Ten Rings, except not the Ten Rings from Shang-Chi, it's the, just the, the Mandarin's Ten Rings or whatever, I don't, I don't know. It's just a terrorist organization. Well, I, why would they have two, two names for the same group, whatever? They appropriated I mean, two different it. groups with the same name. Because they appropriated it, I don't know. The, the terrorist was like, oh, that sounds scary, let's use that. There's a part when they're, like, having the video. It's like, hey, look, we captured Tony Stark. And it's, like, a ransom video. The Ten Rings logo pops up, I think. I mean, something's going to happen to get them to Wakanda. Like, Tony Stark is like, sure, let's go fuck up Wakanda. I don't, I don't know. He's going to be manipulated by Killmonger, I believe. I can't believe in the entire MCU we never saw him make an actual vibranium suit. Vibranium we don't, suit. He, we he, don't synth know. he synthesized vibranium to make for the new core in Iron Man 2. But Wait, did he, ma did he make vibranium? He synthesized it. Is that what that was? That whole, make him making the element? I'm pr I'm positive that's vibranium. Okay, I just thought it was he created a new element. I didn't. He didn't, didn't create. No, you you can't just create a new element. I think this is what no, Jarvis said. No, just because Jarvis says it does that mean it's true? You can't create a new element. You discover it. I'm not having a chemistry conversation right. with you. We're not we're not smart enough for that. And I, mean, I will say this, especially he, a, especially about comic book science fiction. I mean, Jace, I'll give this is I'll say this. Tony Stark put more effort into discovering that element than he did into creating time travel. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with something. Model render. No. <laughs> Shit. Let's go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a second mouse. That overrides that mouse. Why? Well, like, that what? only I can use. What? Like, like what? Like driver? Like a driver's ed car? Yeah. You bitch. Yep. Call me bitch all you want. I, I want to be the one in control. I'm on this side of the computer. So, that's my computer. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna say it one more time. <clears throat> Michael B. Jordan, if you're watching this. By little chance, if he's watching this, he just became an anime villain. He's, this is literally like the plot. Jace. Hi, Jace. I know you haven't seen this anime. I think I've mentioned it in passing time. Uh, my gateway anime was called Code Geass. It was a, it was about a, a a prince who was like, what's the word? Like basically disowned, kind of. He was like a like a disshamed prince, and all the prince wanted. His name was Lelouch, and all Lelouch wanted to do was just get his revenge on. Uh, his father, the king, and the the country that screwed him over. That's basically what this. That's basically what this is. So right after Killmonger killed Tony, he like took a knife and just went like kink and added another scar to his uh to his like count or whatever. To his tally. To his tally. I didn't think they were scars. I thought that was like something he did to like cosmetically because they they're like protruding out, aren't they? 
Sometimes scars do that. I mean, actually, I'm not entirely sure. They're too, they're too like, I don't know. Someone explain that shit to us. I thought, like, it's kind of, mm, I've seen people get, like, weird bumps put on their forehead. Like, like a piercing kind of thing. Like, except it's, that's what I thought that was. I didn't think it was a scar. Like, like a regular scar. Because of how, I thought that if anything, his skin would be different. Like a, like a slightly different color. But no, it's protruding outward. His motives just doesn't really seem very clear. Because, I mean, it's like, he his father was killed by Chachaka. Yeah. And he had, it was like, are you going to kill him too as revenge I think or that what? eventually that's part of the plan. But it's also just about, uh, like, I don't want to speak in terms of African-American, like, culture about it because I can't. It's just that he believes he's doing it for, like, the African-Americans who he believe is oppressed for the world over. Which I'm not going to say whether or not whether they are or not oppressed because I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. I, I just think it's incredible that even in an animated shtick, Killmonger is one of the best characters. He's really good and compelling. I can't wait to show this to Emily. It's and honest, honestly, a show like this, it makes it like kind of upsetting that he was only in one actual MCU movie. Yeah, it's you know what this reminds like. Me? It, it's clear that there was more potential for him. Like, what if you mm-hmm. had? What if you made? I don't think you could have turned him, but like, let's say for example, what if you did turn him and we actually saw him fighting in Endgame or, or Infinity War? Yeah, that's that's what's dangerous about a popular character is that they often end up like switching over to the good side. There are popular villains who people love so much that they end up like just switching over to the good side. That happens so much in anime. I think it's like what happened with Zuko. Are you, I mean, well, I mean that you could argue that was the plan from the whole time, but there are other examples that are better. So basically, I like the analogy that Michael B. Jordan is such a weeb that he has his character covered in tallies for every one of his kills, basically making him a death note. And it had to go there. If, well, I mean, if anything, the guy dead shot from Arrow is the death note because he actually writes people's, the names of the people he kills on tattoos them on his body. That's the death note shtick. He is the death note. I love just... T'Challa, sh- like him showing up in the spirit realm, and T'Challa is like, you son of a bitch. No, but that would have been funny. But he's just like, was it worth it? And they have like this really cool, like character-driven conversation about their goals and what it is worth. And I love T'Challa's line. Your, like, your solution for hu- human suffering is more suffering. He's trying to show him like what's wrong with that idea. I love it. Every- I suffered watching everyone else versus I don't want anyone to suffer okay. the same way I did. Exactly. It's, like, it's a the really fucked up mentalities. way of thinking. You should not want people to suffer the same way you did. Like the thing about you should th- never want that. And anyone who thinks otherwise, mm-hmm. frankly, that's that's the that's the thing about that's, that's why so fucked up. That's why Killmonger is the villain because on a, on a certain level he's right, but he's wrong. You know what I mean? There's a there's a villain in Naruto named Pain. He truly believes that the best way to achieve world peace is for everybody to suffer. A tremendous amount of pain, suffering, and loss. That way, humanity can come together to recover from that pain, that pain together. And the way he explains it, I'm not doing a great job of explaining it, but where he's coming from, I, I completely understand why he thinks that. And on some level, you kind of believe it, but he's wrong. <laughs> that's that's not going to work. I love that. Oh, I, I feel bad that at least it, it wasn't done like in poor taste that kill, that T'Challa dies. Poor Chadwick Boseman. R.I.P. But I'm so glad we get to hear him, even post, like, him passing away. Uh, they had a couple of Chadwick Boseman performances in the tank. You know what I'm saying? And he can just come up and just be uh, iconic. That's just this amazing character with the great voice. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. I'm Jace. Patreon exists. It's a thing. It's a thing. There exists. Said that at the beginning. Oh, say it again. All right. Bye. Again. <laughs>